Now, one of our police forces is testing powerful new technology that can put a name to a face. It's able to identify suspects who've been caught on camera in just seconds. Leicestershire police say it could transform the way they catch criminals. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. CCTV has become a vital part of police investigations, footage that shows who's at the scene of a crime, but identifying the suspects can take weeks of detective work. Now, though, Hillary can find a match in seconds using this new facial recognition software. This demonstration shows how a police employee is picked out from a database of every suspect whose pictures on the force computer system. It can even spot family members with similar facial features. It is amazing to be able to sort through 92,000 images in a matter of moments um, and it's just going to be such a useful tool to officers out on the street. It could be low level shoplift to murder scenes, crime scenes. It's not DNA, it's not a fingerprint, it's a suggestion. This person is potentially of interest to your inquiry. They're checking footage from these new body-worn cameras as well as shops, buses and sports grounds. The results can't be used as evidence in court, but the trial's already identified around 100 suspects. That has potentially saved us tens of thousands of hours sifting through photographs. It may well have found individuals who, who might never have been brought to justice before. So it makes a huge difference. Some people will be worried, won't they, that this is a bit big brother, that it's very powerful technology that can track people's lives. That's a really important question and one I'm really pleased you've asked. It's searching databases of people who have been arrested, who we have lawfully got their photograph of. It's not searching the database of anything else. For now, this is just a trial, but Leicestershire police think this facial recognition system is more advanced than anywhere else in the world. And it's already attracting interest from other forces as far afield as France and Romania. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Leicester. Now, in recent days...